<laughs> this is awesome. Diagnosing a unit doesn't to be working too well. It's right about 100 out here now. 323 on the high side. 77 on suction. That be because this fan is turning backwards. Drawing in about 100 degree air. And down here on the side, it's going to be about 130 or so. Uh, there's 130 right there. Yep. It's like somebody uh, didn't check their universal fan motor after they started that sucker back up. It was still moving air, so I guess it was online, but it's not too efficient when your blades are spinning the wrong way and it's trying to push air down rather than draft the hot air up and out. Man, it's hot up here. Anyway, uh, the other issue with this unit was that this fan blade was installed way down the end of the shaft, which was putting the blade below the shroud down there. That was ridiculous, so I adjusted it to where it should be. I'm gonna put this back together and see if I can get a little more efficiency of the air blowing through the condenser coil. All right, that works a little better with the air blowing up instead of pulling down. Got it. It was 320. Now it's like 285. And the discharge error is 116. It's where it was 130 when it was pushing down, it's because the fan blades, the way they're pitched and just, you know, fighting gravity and everything, trying to push that hot air down with the backwards pitched blade just isn't gonna move air efficiently. So that's why there was a greater heat rise across the coil coming out. So air is moving quicker and more efficiently now with it pulling in and out the top and going across the pitch of the blade properly. The blades are scooped, so they're made to turn just one way as it lifts the air. You can't just simply spin the blade backwards and get it to move the same amount of air the other direction. So.